Hello my dear students. So in the last week we were discussing about the second chapter when lines join. Isn't it? So today let's move to the next part of the chapter. Okay. First of all my dear students I am going to draw a line that is of 7 centimeters. Okay. So this line is 7 centimeters long now these are the two end points one end point the next end point these are the two end points of the line okay now i am going to take the set square and i am putting the set square here and i am drawing an upright line i am drawing an upright line now again i want to put the set square here so for that i want to extend this line isn't it so now i am extending this line so this is the point this is that was the end now i put this set square here on this line and i am drawing an upright line again now the breadth of the this is the breadth this is the length this upright line should be four centimeters so i will measure this four centimeters so here it is four centimeters and here also the upright line should be four centimeters so i am measuring it as four centimeters now i want to join these two lines okay i'm joining these two lines now i joined those lines now i got this line this line they both are 7 centimeters long 7 centimeters long and this line also 7 centimeters long and what about these two lines these are 4 centimeters long and this is also 4 centimeters long isn't it now you know that these two lines are equal this is 4 centimeter this is 4 <coughs> centimeter isn't it so these two lines are equal these are called breadth okay that is called breadth b r e a d t h so breadth equal to 4 centimeter okay now this line and this line both are 7 centimeters both are equal these lines are called length this line is length so here our length is 7 centimeter and our breadth is 4 centimeter isn't it this type of figure, this type of four sided figure, one, two, three, four, four sided figure in which the lengths are equal and the breadths are equal are called rectangle. R E C T A N G L E rectangle okay these type of figures four sided figures in which the lengths and breadths are equal are called rectangle okay now my dear students i am going to show you some things that are of rectangular shape okay this is a card okay so we are going to measure the length and breadth of this card when I measure the length, I am getting 8.8, .8, okay, 8.8 .8. and here also 8.8, .8, okay. So, its length is same. Now, we look at, look at the breadth. Breadth is 5.1 and this side, the breadth is again. 5.1 so the breadth is same and the length is also same okay so this is also in a 
rectangular shape this card is of rectangular shape now let us look at your max textbook okay now look this is your max textbook okay is this in rectangular shape yes the length of max textbook is same and the breadth is also same so this is in rectangular shape okay breadth so in rectangular shapes breadth will be equal and length will also be equal okay what about the corners in this rectangle these are four corners of the rectangle what about the corners the corners in a rectangle are square corners so when we put this set square here you can see we got a square corner when we put this rectangle here then also you are getting a square corner okay if i am putting this rectangle sorry this set square here you can get a square corner again and here also you can get a square corner so all the corners of a rectangle are square corners okay square corners s q u a r e c o r n e r s so square corners you can see in the textbook amu was drawing some rectangles okay so first of all amu take this scale and she drew a line she drew a line like this okay and amu thought before we draw the line the upright line using this corner of the set square isn't it we put this corner in the end and we draw a line so amu was thinking why can't she put a this corner at the end of this line why can't she put this corner that is not this corner this corner at the end of line so she drew a line using this corner of the set square so she drew a line like this okay and she measured the length as 4 cm okay this length is 4 cm again she extended the line this was her end point okay and she put again this corner of the set square at the end and she drew a line she drew a line again she took the scale and measured the length as 4 cm so 4 cm and she drew a line that joining those points so she got a figure like this so this is 4 cm okay so both these lines are 4 cm and these lines are also also equal but in this figure you can see the line is not upright the line is tilted line is having some slant isn't it line oru cherivu undu nere alla line ullathu so in rectangles the lines are straight upwards isn't it rectangle la line nere aayirikkum but in this figure she got the lines are tilted the lines are korchu cherinjittundu lines are having slant lines in korchu cherivundu okay then she drew so this figure she drew using this corner okay but again she drew a line and this was the line okay so she drew 
a rectangle using this corner she drew a figure like this using this corner now she is going to draw a figure using this corner okay so first of all she drew a line here now she is going to put the set square on this line and she drew a line okay and the length of this is 3 she marked the length as 3 okay 3 centimeters and she again put this corner here so for that we want to extend these lines and she put her set square here and she again drew a line okay and she was measuring the line as three centimeter like this so three centimeters will be here and she joined these lines at the above so this is also three centimeters okay so now she got a figure like this using the corner this and she got a figure like this when she used the corner this isn't it so you can see in your textbook this is the figure got by Ammu and this is the figure got by Rahim who drew a figure using the third corner of the set square so Ammu used this corner of the set square to get this figure and Rahim used this corner to get a figure like this okay so look at these two figures can you see some differences yes both figures are having slants isn't it render figure no cherry wound but are the slants same render cherry same ano no in Amos figure you can see there is this much slant but in Rahim's figure the slant is more Korachuda cherry wunder Rahim varacha figure la Amu varacha figure la Atra cherry villa cherry vikorche Kuravan okay so in both figures the slants are not same okay now my dear students everyone look at this question in page number 27 of your textbook you can see Rahim put a dot on a paper and drew lines from it using only one corner of a set square to make this picture okay so Rahim put a dot on a paper he put a dot at the center okay and drew lines from it he drew lines from it using only one corner of corner of a set square set square in day or corner ubiyogi chitta rahim varacha uru chitra mana idha okay so how many sides does this figure have one two three four five six e figure ne six sides under okay six sides are the for this figure can you do this in your notebook now you want to do you want to draw a figure like this in your notebook using set square okay using set square so for that you can see all oh, this length is three centimeter this length is three centimeter this length is three centimeter so the length are equal in all the case isn't it so we are going to draw a figure like that okay so first of all I will put a dot okay so that will be the center now I am going to draw a line first of all I will draw a straight line so this is the straight line now the length of that line should be 3 centimeters 
So now this is 3 centimeters in length up to here. Okay, this is 3 centimeter. Now I want to use this set square and I want to draw a figure like that. So first of all I will put a set square like this on the line and I will draw a line. The length should be 3 cm. So again I will take the scale and measure the length of the line and I will put a mark here. So that is 3 cm. Now again I will put the set square like this on the new line. This is the new line we got. Now I will put the set square here and I will draw a line. So this is the next line. Okay. Now again I will measure the length should be 3 centimeters. So this is now 3 centimeters. Okay. So this is 3 centimeters. This line is also now 3 centimeters. Now I will put the set square again on this line. And I will draw a line. So this is my new line and I will measure the length as again 3 centimeters, 3 centimeters. So this is now 3 centimeters. Now again I will put the set square on the new line and I will draw a line. What is the length? Again 3 centimeters. So I will measure the line 3 centimeters. So this is now 3 centimeters. Okay. Now again I will put the set square on the new line and I will draw a line. Okay. This is the new line. Now I will measure the length of the line. That is 3 centimeters. So this is also 3 centimeters. Now I will join every dots. So I will join first of all these two dots. Now I will join these two dots. Again these two dots. These dots. and last two dots so now you can see we got a figure in which the length of the lines are three centimeters everywhere like the figure shown in the textbook okay now you want to use the other corner of the set square so in the, this figure we used this corner isn't it so now you want to draw draw another figure using this corner of the set square okay and you want to tell me how many sides are there for the figure okay so my dear students this is for today we discussed how to join lines and we discussed about different corners of a set square. Isn't it? So you all are having some activities in your textbook. Everyone please do that. And let's meet the next week. Okay. Thank you so much.